Hi, I'm Miss Master Fox. Thank you for replaying this video. How's everybody doing? My live cast. I'm just waiting for people to come in. I'm Miss Master Fox. I'm an energy balancer, a chakra balancer. And I help you release stress and balance the energy in your chakras. And, you know, we've been, there's been a lot of energy on a low frequency um, going around. So, I've been really busy doing chakra balancing um, for my clients. Mm -hmm. For my clients. So, you know, that's why I haven't been on Periscope, but I'm on today. And I just want to reach out to everybody and talk to you about chakras and how to release your stress and, you know, just get into that, um, you know, better energy space. Mm. Again, I'm Miss Master Fox. Thank you for joining. Hello, hello. I'm Miss Master Fox. If you're just coming in, I'm an energy balancer, chakra balancer. I'm also an energy reader, so I feel, um, you know, very subtle energies within people. I'm a, I have clients. I do distant healing online and um, also chakra balancing online. So I just wanted to reach out to everybody and, you know, see how everyone's doing tonight and talk to you about balancing your chakras and giving you a little bit more information about you know releasing stress because stress is the number one reason for illnesses and low vibrational energy so it's very important um, to release your stress because what happens is that, that it becomes blocked energy within your energy field. So it's really important to release this blocked energy in order to feel less stress and to feel happy. Because sometimes when you're stressed, it can actually cause you to feel unhappy. Thank you for all the heart. Um, you know, make sure to invite your friends. Uh, you can share the broadcast and let them know um, to check out my broadcast because it's important for everyone to have their energy balanced. So if you know anyone that, you know, is just feeling low or they just need a boost of energy, um, you know, I'm able to help. Now, chakras are energy portals that align the spine in our body. And we have seven major energy portals or chakras. And what happens is this energy, um, you know, it builds up everything that we go through emotionally gets stuck within these chakras. And we have to release the energy in order to feel better because you know, you can try to think positive or say positive things and you still won't feel better because that energy is just blocked up inside of you. So, it's really important, important to, you know, balance your energy and balance your chakras. Thank you for joining, everyone that's joining in. I'm Miss Master Fox, an energy balancer or chakra balancer. And I do chakra balancing online. And I have also do it in person. But, you know, I found that it's easier for me to reach uh, more people. Because, you know, energy has no boundaries. So, it can... I can actually, you know, make people feel better and release that negative stress 
um, you know, from a distance over the phone, online um, webcam, and even just, you know, like I said, speaking to somebody can help them feel, you know, balanced and, and release those negative vibes. So, um, um, thank you for everyone that's giving me love and showing up and I broadcast. I'm Miss Master Fox. And I'm a chakra energy balancer. And I am also a Reiki master. So I do, you know, energy healing, natural healing, energy therapy. I'm also a behavioral therapist or behavioral analyst, and I'm able to help people understand, you know, why they may, you know, maybe they take certain actions in their lives. Um, so because our actions, you know, sometimes they reflect what's truly going on inside. So. I'm just here to, you know, help everybody, you know, get on a better energy feel, on a better frequency because when we're feeling unbalanced, that will affect a lot of people around us also, you know, not just our own energy field, but it, you know, it will affect the energy field of beings that are next to us and at a distance. Because again, energy has no boundaries. And I'm very sensitive, um, highly in, um, intuitive and sensitive to energy. And I can feel things in, you know, many different ways. Um, you know, instantly when I meet somebody, I can feel if they're, you know, in a bad mood or they're going through, you know, something traumatic in their lives. And right now... You know, there's a lot of energy um, that are on low vibrations. Yes, yes, I am an empath. And <laughs> being an empath is, you know, bo both a blessing and a curse because it's very, um, uh, it's like you're constantly feeling energy. And you have to know how to protect yourself and to release those vibrations because sometimes being an empath um, you know, you become overly emotional because, you know, you're picking up on so many energy vibrations of other people around you. You know, remember, we're not, um, we're not actually solid. We are, we are vibrating beings. So, you know, our energy is constantly vibrating and constantly being, you know, transmitted and received. So sometimes when you feel like you don't know why you're annoyed or irritated, you know, it might be actually someone else's energy that you're picking up. So what I do is I constantly, you know, I constantly take energy breaks. And this is a technique I teach my clients where, you know, you take three to five minutes every day and you know, anytime you're feeling annoyed or having some irritation in your life or, you know, somebody is, you know, trying to take you out of your positive mode, just, you know, close your eyes. You can even do it with your eyes open, but I, I know for some people it's better if they cut off, you know, the external energy. So just close your eyes. And then just take deep breaths. You, know, you inhale the positive energy and you exhale the negative energy. And just keep telling yourself that. And think of one thing that you feel grateful for. One thing that truly makes you happy. And this will actually clear your mind of other thoughts. So it will, it will help you just focus in on that one thing good thought and that good feeling will vibrate through your energy field and you will actually get an energy boost so you know sometimes people think that it's all about just relaxing but actually when you relax and you take that break you give yourself an energy boost 
because you're not draining your energy. You know, because we are energy beings and we have to boost up our energy constantly. And uh, yeah, this is something that has to be done daily. Um, you can do it with affirmations. You know, words truly help because when you speak certain words, you know, your body is listening and your body responds to this language. So, you know, it's very important to have a lot of positive self-talk. Also, um, when it comes to your chakras, like I said earlier, if, you, if you're just, you know, coming into the show, I'm a chakra energy balancer. And I was saying earlier that we have seven major chakras that align our spine where all of our nerves are connected. And whenever we're feeling any type of emotional um, trauma or emotional vibration, it gets put into these, you know, chakra portals or sucked into the ch chakra portals. And if it's a positive, high vibrational, happy feeling, that energy will flow through your chakras evenly. Um, but if it's something that's straining or, you know, stressful in a negative way, it will begin to block these areas. So even when you're trying to feel happy, you, it will feel like you can't get to being happy because there, those blocks are in the way. So, um, again, you have seven major chakras. Every chakra um, has a different color that's aligned with each chakra because we are vibrational beings. So our chakras vibrate at a different speed, which causes, um, you know, these vibrations to have a color. And we can't physically see the color. Actually, some people actually can see them. You know, when they're very sensitive, um, they can see, you know, aura, your aura that's around you, which is an energy field that you produce when you, um, your energy is vibrating. So this energy field that's around you produces an actual color. And when you're stressed, your aura is going to be a dull, you know, very dull, like muddy colors. But when you're feeling happy and excited and love, you know, your vibrations are high. You're feeling, you're going to have a bright aura around you. And also, your chakras, uh, you know, will be less vibrant when you're stressed out. Uh, when you're feeling happy, your chakras are more vibrant, you know, have brighter colors. So, actually, colors can help you balance your chakras. So, if you help your root chakra, rotate it in the growing area, and your root chakra is important for stability in your life, for feeling grounded. And it, it's really important for you to balance this chakra um, if you want to feel secure. Um, you know, if you feel like, you know, things are just going hectic in your life, it's, it's probably because your root chakra is off balance. That is what is connected to the earth and your foundation. And if your foundation is off, it's just like a building. You know, if the foundation is off, it will topple over. So it's really important to have your root chakra balance. And like I said, one great way to help balance this chakra is to wear the color red or to observe, you know, red colors or to eat actually red fruit or red foods. That will help boost your root chakra. So there's different things you can do for each chakra. Again, there's seven major chakras. Your root chakra, which I just described. Um, you also have your navel or your sacral chakra. And this is where your, you know, your confidence, sexual energy, creativity, um, 
all of those kind of um, abstract things are located in this area, that type of energy. And it's very important to have this balance because you, if this is unbalanced, it will be hard for you to be in relationships, um, meet new people, be creative. So and one good way to boost this area, which is right below the navel and right above your root chakra, is to wear the color orange. Um, and that is the color of this area. And you can, you know, eat orange, uh, you know, fruit or eat um, orange foods. You can also look at like orange lights and this will help boost that area. And when I'm doing, you know, my meditation or um, chakra balancing with people, I am making sure, you know, that they are looking or thinking about these colors as I'm balancing them. Because that's another way to, you know, balance yourself is to actually visualize, actually visualize the colors. So... Um, hello everyone that's just coming in. I'm Miss Master Fox and I'm talking about chakra balancing and I actually do chakra balancing for my clients online. Uh, I've been really busy with the holidays because, you know, a lot of people want to be balanced during this time or there's a lot of, you know, hectic energy going around and they need that feel, you know, that boost of energy or they need to clear their mind and feel more relaxed so that they can have more happiness and they can, you know, enjoy their time with their family. So I have been really booked with a lot of clients and actually it's, it's I'm so happy that people are choosing to, you know, use the energy within their cells around them to take their cells to a higher level because you are powerful you know your energy is very powerful and is it can heal your you know heal you and you can feel better you don't have to feel stuck in your life you're actually in control of that you know but some of us we weren't taught, a lot of us actually weren't taught this technique. We weren't, you know, we weren't taught that we can take that energy within us and balance ourselves. So that's why I, you know, I decided to be a chakra balancer and to help people around the world just get their energy on the right frequency. Because that's what it's really all about. When you're on the right frequency, you'll attract so many positive things in your life that are matching that frequency so when you're feeling stressed when you're feeling like low vibrations you won't be vibrant your energy won't be vibrant and it won't feel like you can think of creative ideas and you won't feel like you know you can push yourself to that next level and sometimes you know we have to balance our chakras often you know, sometimes it's daily, once a week, you know, um, but it's very important to do it. And it can be done on your own. You can actually balance your own chakras. It's just that sometimes um, people need a balancing guide so that because their mind is very cluttered and, and they've been through a lot of traumatic events. And whenever you go through a traumatic event, uh, that will make you feel unbalanced. And your chakras will be unbalanced. Because it's that, that energy, that, that negative trauma or event that you went through is now became, you know, has now become a block in your energy field. So it's very important to balance your chakras. Um, so earlier I was describing the different chakras. I went through the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and um, I want to also talk about the solar plexus, which is the third chakra. 
and that's located in your stomach area. And this is where your confidence, your self-esteem, your, you know, excitement for life, that is all located in this area. And also your intuition. When you're not feeling good um, and something is off about a situation, you'll usually get a feeling in your stomach. And that is where your solar plexus is and the universe is relaying a message to you it's you know that's your inner guide so when this is off or when this is blocked you'll feel you know very low about yourself maybe you won't feel um you'll judge yourself you'll be very judgmental about yourself um You'll listen to other people that are judgmental. You'll allow that to come into your space. And, you know, you have to release those blocks in order to, you know, just feel vibrant and have happiness, excitement in your life. And this color is yellow. Your solar plexus is yellow. <laughs> Like a bright sun. So that's a nice one. You know, I tell my clients um, to visualize a bright sun entering their energy field. And that will help you balance that solar plexus. Also, the fourth chakra is the heart chakra. And it's located right here in the middle of your chest area. And it's, the color is green. And this will help you with self-love. Loving others unconditionally. And, you know, just being able to see the beauty and the love in everything. Um, so, you know, it's very important to have that, sh that chakra balance. Because when your heart chakra is in balance, it will be hard for you to even attract loving situations in your life. And um, one way to help balance that chakra is to have a lot of gratitude. Um, gratitude will actually help boost this area. So again, I'm Miss Master Five. Thanks everybody for joining. And thanks for all the love and the hearts. Whenever you give me hearts, that's me actually giving you hearts also because we're both seeing the hearts and feeling good about the hearts. <laughs> So that's my love back to you. Much love. And thank you for coming out. We're talking about chakras and how to balance your balance your chakras and release that negative stress in your life. And um, I miss Massive Fox. I do online balancing. I also do in-person balancing. Um, but I love to reach a lot of different people. I have international clients. So you know online webcam over the phone it makes it easier for me to reach my clients and it doesn't matter if you're online or in person because energy is endless and it can heal you you know from a distance because it has no boundaries and I can feel I can actually feel that energy um, within me at all times I'm always feeling energy from different people and you know I know how to release the energy because I've been doing energy balancing for a long time now um, you know over 10 years <laughs> yeah because I've been doing it well that's professionally because actually I was doing energy balancing before that it just was you know more me just filling it out and just it was my natural state I was always healing people without even knowing that I was doing it um, so now that I'm really aware of uh, my energy balancing I decided to reach out to people around the world and so that I could help people you know one mind at a time so we're talking about chakras and we have seven major chakras that are lying our spine and we were talking about the root chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus, the heart chakra, and now I'm going to talk about the throat chakra. And this chakra is located right here in your throat area. And 
this is where um, you know all of the energy that like gives you that boost to speak your mind and to speak your truth and to be able to relay your message to other people worldwide um, that is where this energy lies in your throat chakra and when it's unbalanced you will feel maybe shy when you you know you allow people maybe to talk over you or you don't speak your truth you know you might feel a certain way but you you'll you know second guess yourself because you don't want to hurt someone's feelings or you know you just keep it inside and this is not good for your energy field because it causes blocks and you really want to release that energy so you have to have your throat chakra balance and your throat chakra it has a blue color attached to it it has a blue vibration which is very high vibration and you know when you want to balance this yes release the negative that, that's very true um, this helps you release the negative energy from your throat chakra when you think of blue like the blue sky a blue bird um, <laughs> you know any of those things can help you with channeling that positive energy to your throat chakra also you have your third eye chakra which is your sixth chakra and this chakra is an indigo color which is like a bluish purple color and when this energy your third eye chakra is blocked um, it will be hard for you to think of new ideas creative ideas and it will feel like you're blocked or your energy field is your thoughts are blocked or you're you know there's too many thoughts going around in your head so in order to feel you know on a better vibration with your mind and to be able to think positive and to come up with creative thoughts you have to balance your third eye chakra so you know think of an indigo color you could think of even like a deep purplish blue and just channel that energy and that will help your third eye chakra become more balanced you can also wear that color again wearing the colors of the chakras actually puts out a vibrational vib um, you know energy that helps you feel more balanced Thank you for joining. Thank you for giving me all that love in the hearts. I really truly appreciate it. Much love back to you. And we're talking about the seven major chakras. And we are, we have talked about the root chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, the third eye chakra. Now, the last chakra which is the last major chakra there's many many chakras but the major chakras are the most important to pay attention to because it's actually connected you know directly to your physical being so you have your crown chakra your seventh chakra which is located at the top of your head and this color is purple it's also represented by white because it's the pure energy that's connected to the universal mind. And when you're feeling, you know, high vibrations, when all of your chakras are balanced, your crown chakra will be, you know, really vibrant. And it, you know, very, like transmitting all of your positive energy out into the universe. And also it will be receiving energy a lot easier you know from the universe of mind you will also be able to see things on a bigger picture you know things will feel like you understand them right away without having to know the answers you know, everything will flow for you and you know it it's kind of like when you're in a meditative state 
and you just have this enlightened feeling. That enlightened feeling is when your crown chakra is at its highest peak. So it's very important to have all of your chakras balanced in order for your crown chakra to be vibrant. Because the crown chakra depends on all of the other chakras. And actually, all of the chakras have an effect on each other. But, you know, the crown chakra is the main, is that, you know, chakra that's reaching out worldwide to the universe endlessly. And it's when you're feeling stressed and low energy, it's not as bright. You know, it's like... It's dim. It's like, you know, turn the light out a little bit. And so you want to turn your light on. You know, that's how you can look at it when you're balancing your chakras. It's, it's turning the light on within your, your inner energy field. Um, so at the end of, you know, my broadcast, before I get off, I'm going to do a short energy balancing. Just, you know, a small one so you can understand what I do by when I'm balancing and you can feel that energy out there in the universe because you know the more we put out these positive vibrations the more we'll get them back and the, the more we'll lift up you know the energy field around us because that's really important we all need to be on the on a high vibration so that you know the universe can flow easier for us in this we're all connected so how we're feeling emotionally and vibrationally um, affects everyone so that is why I really got into energy balancing because I feel like that you know, we all need to be taught this special, you know, gift that we all have inside of us. We just, we, we weren't taught it from, you know, some of us were not taught this from the very beginning. And it's now we have to teach ourselves to, you know, release those negative vibes instead of holding on to them. Which our body naturally does because it doesn't want you to go through you know, the same thing. It tries to remind you, but at the same time, it brings it up, which causes negative emotions. You know, sometimes when you go through something in your past and you react in the now, it will cause your now to be off. And it will cause those, you know, the same pain that you went through in the past to actually happen in the now. And that will cause just more energy blocks in your energy field. So we have to release those. We have to release those negative thoughts and those negative vibes. In order, you know, to feel better with yourself. Feel better with life. You know, life's happiness depends on how happy you are. You create the reality around you. You know. Other people have an influence because their energy can sink into your energy field. But ultimately, it's the way you react and it's the way, you know, we absorb that energy. And I know this because I'm an empath. I'm, you know, I'm very highly sensitive and I feel the emotions of everyone around me. Sometimes I can go into a room and I can feel like, you know, 10 million energy vibrations coming towards me. And I have to decipher, you know, is that my own energy that I'm feeling? Or is that, you know, a person that's standing right next to me? And, you know, it's, I have many years of practice. Um, so now I'm able to, to know if it's my own energy or not. But, you know, if you're an empath, you might not know that you're picking up on so many people's energy. Like, if you're highly sensitive, if, you know, you feel like you, you know, you go into a room and automatically you're feeling an emotion from the room, you're more than likely an empath. Or if you're watching television and, uh, 
you know, a sad event is happening and you find yourself tearing up, um, you know, you're more than likely an empath. And you have to learn how to block energy when you're an empath and also you have to constantly balance your energy and your chakras or you will get overwhelmed with energy. Um, that's the thing um, about not understanding about releasing your energy or negative vibes because this energy will continue to stack up and stack up and build up within you and you won't know you just start to feel this heavy you know feeling like something's weighing you down so you have to you know release those negative vibes um, there's many ways to do it, but chakra balancing is a wonderful technique. And you know, when I'm doing um, or giving chakra balancing um, to my clients, I use at least 30 minutes to really get that energy f flowing within them. You know, some people have a more traumatic situation, so it can take up to an hour, um, but I've, you know, through my experience, I have seen that, you know, 30 minutes does the job. So if you can just take, you know, 30 minutes from your day to balance yourself, to feel relaxed, uh, meditation is a wonderful way to get into that chakra balancing mode. Uh, so you can begin by, you know, meditating, closing your eyes, you know, relaxing, you know. Feeling those high vibrations moving through you because you have to become aware of your inner vibrations. You know, your inner energy is constantly trying to give you uh, messages and letting you know and guiding you. But if you're feeling stressed and your mind is cluttered with thoughts that aren't, you know, benefiting you, then you will start to feel like heavy and you will start to feel that. Things just won't go right for you. And this is because you're on that vibration and you're, you know, attracting those vibrations towards you. Again, we are energy vibrational, you know, beings. We're not truly solid. We, we look solid, but we're actually vibrating at a core level. So... If our energy is off, we will get, in, you know, all kind of things will happen. Um, we'll feel more stress. We'll even feel physical illnesses. Um, you know, it, 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 and also this energy, especially when it's on a negative or low vibration, it's, it's contagious. So, you know, you can, someone can come into the room and all of a sudden, you know, we're, they're feeling negative. So now we're, I'm feeling negative and the next person's feeling negative. And it just continues to grow within all the people that are surrounding that person. So energy is, it can be very contagious. Um, it can be, you know, very heavy. So you have to release it. And you have to feel relaxed in your life. And sometimes it's hard to do it on your own. That is why I created, you know, this service for helping people balance their chakras. Because I know at times you need a guide to direct that energy so that it can move and flow through your body. And I've helped many people. Um, I had so many great results that it helps, you know, it it drives me to continue to do it daily. I have clients almost every day. You know, I do take my breaks because I know that my energy has to be up, be and up. You know, it has to be at a high vibration in order to give that back to, you know, the people that I'm helping. So again, I'm Miss Master Fox. Thank you for everyone that's that balancer chakra balancer and i gave a little bit of a summary of you know what chakras are and you know what each chakra you know does or how it's connected to you 
So if you need to um, learn more about chakras, just watch the replay and you'll hear a little bit about, you know, what chakras are. Also, you can um, go to my website and check out um, my website. It's thechakraguide.com. Again, that's thechakraguide.com. Or you could even go to bit.ly. That's bit.ly slash chakra detox. And it will bring you to the same site. And on that site, you know, I explain um, a little bit more about chakras. And also you can check out my one-on-one services. And if you're feeling like you're, um, you know, in a low vibration, you can also join my, um, my chakra detox challenge. And the chakra detox challenge is a wonderful way for you to learn more about chakras it's actually for 30 days and every day you will get a different challenge from me and you can le- you'll learn about chakras and it will help you balance your chakras and learn how to have a new a new you and that's what it's actually called uh, 30 days to a new you because every time you um, enhance your energy or, you know, you shift your energy or you get your energy balance, it is like you are a new you inside. So it's really important um, to get your energy balance, like I said. And if you want to join my Chakra Detox Challenge, just check out bit.ly slash chakra detox and you will you can get the information there it's sign you can sign up for free it's a free public challenge and you can um, you can do it the challenge on instagram on actually on periscope also facebook um i have you know some people that are actually doing their chakra detox on periscope and they just post you know the challenge Every time I give them a challenge, they post their completed challenge on Periscope. And it's a wonderful way to reach out to others and to, you know, share your journey, your chakra detox journey. And um, if you want to sign up again, it's free. Just put your information on the form on my website, thechakraguy.com or bit.ly slash chakra detox and i will send you all the information on how to get started thank you thank you miss wisdom that's my business partner she's on tonight describing for me so just check out the website if you um, need any more information about the chakra detox it's a wonderful way to release those negative vibrations in your life Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Much love. Um, also, you know, we have um, also a private chakra detox. So if you, you know, you don't really want to share online and you just want an email um, and also to be able to talk to me through email, um, you know, along your journey and to ask me questions. Um, you know, through your chakra detox, through the 30 days, you can also pay for the private chakra detox challenge, which is only a dollar a day. So it comes out to be $30 for the whole chakra detox. And, you know, you'll just get a more one-on-one um, challenge with me. I also have an ebook that's called 30 Days to a New You. That has the chakra detox challenge inside. So you can, um, you know, actually just have a physical, you know, ebook that takes you through the chakra detox and, you know, gives you a little bit more information also about chakras and what the chakra detox is about. And it's only 11 11. So, you know, check that out on my website thechakraguide.com and also the chakra detox 
course is coming soon. So I'm going to actually have a course where I go through, you know, helping you detox your chakras. So all that good stuff is coming. You know, you can also join my mailing list. So again, the website is theshakraguy.com or bit.ly slash chakra detox. And I really appreciate everyone coming on tonight. Um, I'm going to end the broadcast with a short chakra balancing so that you can see or get, you know, kind of an idea of what a chakra balancing is all about. And if you have more questions, you can always, you know, go on my website or check me out on Facebook, Master Fox. Um, I'm also, I have, you know, a big internet presence, so I'm always on my social networks, and I'm always, you know, communicating with people, so you can also check me out on Instagram, Miss Master Fox, or Law of Attraction Specialist, because that's something I'm also, you know, I'm an expertise in, is the Law of Attraction, and the Frequency Effect. Which you can also check out my other website, which is lawofattractionspecialist.com. Which me and my business partner, we um, we have mastermind coaching, and we help you know people and entrepreneurs get their mind to that next level. And we also have a, a radio show every Sunday called the Mind Fit Radio, and it. Basically, a place where you can come and get your mind stimulated. Yes, my fit radio that's on blogtalkradio.com slash fit overdrive. And we're on, we're on there every Sunday at 9 30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you can also watch the replays um, on there. You know, any of our past uh, shows, we're actually in season four right now. Uh, so, check us out. You can also check us out here on Periscope when we're doing MindFit Radio. We we chat with people live on Mind Lab Webinar. So remember to follow us on Mind Lab Webinar, and you'll be able to hear our show and chat with us live. And also, we have some other um, Periscope shows. Um, you can check out my business partner, Miss Wisdom. Follow her. She um, She's a mastermind coach, an author, law of attraction specialist. Very, you know, very good energy. Very good energy. Um, and also we have our other Periscope show, which is Scope Spire, where we inspire, you know, people. And we aspire to inspire entrepreneurs to get their mind to the next level and also we have many courses coming up so we have a our other periscope which is mind fit university and we're going to be bringing you all kind of you know great information about the mind and you know your inner being so check those periscopes out all right, so we're getting towards the end of my live broadcast. Again, I'm Miss Master Fox. Thank you all for coming out and showing me so much love. I appreciate it. Thank you for my replay viewers. I really enjoy you. Thank you for checking this, you know, the replay out. And, and I hope you, you know, you got a little bit of an understanding about what chakras are. And if you know what chakras are, I hope that I was able to maybe help, you know, boost your your chakras and help you feel more connected. Um, because, you know, when we're all on that same vibration, our energy field is even more powerful. Okay, so I'm going to do a, a, you know, just a short chakra balancing, guided chakra balancing. <clears throat> So just close your eyes. I want you to inhale. 
you know, the positive energy and exhale the negative energy. And, you know, just listen to my voice. Listen to, you know, me f giving you that positive energy and feeling good inside. So I want you to think about your root chakra and think about the color red and this energy is being filled up with red energy vibrations in the lower part of your body and that energy is getting you know high vibration and healing up inner any energy blocks in this area also now I want you to Think about the color orange and now feel that orange vibration of light moving through your navel chakra. Also think about the color yellow and imagine a bright yellow light, a bright yellow sun vibrating within your stomach and connecting with the red and the orange and the yellow lights and just imagine the whole bottom part of your energy field filling up with these vibrant colors now we're going to move to your heart chakra and I want you to imagine a green light filling up your chest and think of love and happiness as you're you know Feeling this energy move through your body. And right now I'm just taking my hand. I'm actually moving my right hand in a spiral motion over the heart chakra. So that you can see what this looks like. Just open your eyes and see what I'm doing. And this will show you what I'm doing when I'm balancing your chakra. Because this, the energy is moving in a spiral motion. So, again, you can close your eyes. And now I want you to... Your throat area. Just take your right hand and go in a spiral motion over your throat. And think about the color blue and the blue energy you know filling up your throat area and moving through your body and connecting to the green and the yellow and the orange and the red light that's moving throughout your body and remember just release any thoughts that you have that you're having right now only focus on the colors and right now you're feeling love and you know you're you're able to connect with the universal vibes around you All right so now I'm going to move up all right, release. Um, another thing I do is shake my hands off. So after I balance a chakra, I, I just shake my hands off. And that helps to release that, you know, negative vibes that I picked up from the other chakras. Okay, so now we're going to work on your third eye chakra located in the middle of your forehead. And you're going to think of an indigo color. Imagine an indigo light vibrating through your mind and through your brain and connect, you know, to the blue light that's in your throat and the greens and the yellow and the orange and the red. And just imagine a vibrational, you know, rainbow moving through your body
Alright, don't you feel that good vibration moving through you? Alright, so now we're going to talk about the seventh chakra, which is your crown chakra. Remember, that's the color purple. I want you to visualize that purple vibration moving through your crown chakra. Remember, move your hand in a spiral motion. That will help clear that energy that's blocked. And think of a purple vibration moving through your energy and connecting to the indigo and to the blue, to the green, to the yellow, to the orange, and to the red. And just think about all the beautiful colors that are around you. And imagine that high vibrational rainbow moving through your body. Now open your eyes and shake off, shake it off. Whew. So that was just a small chakra balancing. Um, usually, you know, I'll, I take you through each one very slowly. And I, you know, I um, specialize it to the things that you're going through in your energy. So we can release those specific, you know, blocks. But I'm feeling a lot better just from doing that. <laughs> That energy balancing gave me a boost, a big boost. You know, a small balance can go a long way. So I hope I've helped everyone out there tonight to, you know, release some of those tensions or stresses that are going on. And, um, you know, follow me so that invite your friends that, you know, they might need this energy. And also, you know, so that you could be notified when I broadcast live that you could be a part of more energy balancing sessions and I will be talking more about chakras on my other shows. So again, if you need one-on-one -on -one services, check me out at chakraguy.com or bit.ly slash chakra detox. Thanks for joining. Much love. Good night.